Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. We're going to be talking about uh, multiple step equations, okay? Now, first of all, we're going to be looking at equations like this that have variables on both sides, okay? X terms on both sides of the equal sign, okay? Now, the, the trick is that you got to make sure that you want to decide whether you want to get them on the left or the right. Now, in this case, uh, you know, we're usually more comfortable at the end of the problem to have X equals our answer. Okay, we could easily say the answer equals x. So the order left or right for your variable doesn't matter. Now as you do these more and you get a lot of practice, um, you'll start to kind of have some preferences. But basically, I'm going to usually get all the x terms on the left. That means I need to get rid of this 7x by subtracting it or adding a negative 7x. All right, and of course the reason why we do that is to create a 0 right there and get rid of it. So I have a negative 15. You try to ignore my equals line there. Um, equals, and over here I have negative 7x plus 1. Just drop down what you haven't used yet. All right? Now, you're going to get rid of the plus 1 part because, again, we want just the x's over there. And now it's getting kind of messy here, but I'm going to write this off to the side. On the left, I have negative 7x equals negative, what is that? Negative 16. That's right. Now we're going to divide each side by negative 7. And we get x all by itself, okay? And that answer is going to be a positive 16 sevenths, okay? But we usually like to make a mixed number out of it. Most math teachers and textbooks say, don't make a decimal out of it. Let's keep it in fraction form. So 7 goes into 16 twice. That's my whole number. That makes 14, so I'm 2 away, remainder of 2. Okay, positive 2 and 2 sevenths. Now let's look at this one, number 4. Notice how we have a's on the same side of the equal sign on the left. Okay. And we also have some common terms here, constant terms, that need to be combined. So this is called combining like terms, okay? Let me write that out here. Combining like terms. Like terms, in this case, are A terms or constant terms, just plain numbers. So on the left, 5A take away 8A is negative 3A. Watch your signs there. And here we have a, that's a 1a, or just a plain a right there, plus, let's see, negative 13 and 1, that's a positive 1, that makes it negative 12, take away 14 more, is negative 16, okay? Be very careful about your signs there. All right, now we're going to have to get rid of this a because it's on the right. We want all of our a's to be on the left. Okay, so that gives us 0a right there. Cross it out. Basically, they just disappear. Sometimes students say they cancel each other out. I know what you mean. Negative 16 on the right there, and this is negative, remember, that's negative 1a if you don't see a number in front. So negative 4a equals negative 16. The goal, remember, get a by itself. So we're going to divide by the 4 and the negative sign. Don't forget the negative sign. So now we're going to have a equals positive 4. All right. I hope that helps. And the second video in the series, we're going to be handle these distributive property problems with parentheses. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Good luck. All right. There you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.